Has anyone ever heard of a linter? A code linter? <laughs> heard of it, don't know what it means. Um, so it's static code analysis. So it helps you find uh, mistakes and uh, just style inconsistencies and things like that. So you can configure it to look for certain things. Like if you want to be sure that you include semicolons, you can configure it um, to raise an error in your editor every time you forget a semicolon. You could have it raise an error every time you use a semicolon because you don't want to, whatever. Um, so it's a highly configurable static code analysis tool. And um, there's integration with a lot of code editors. Um, in Visual Studio Code, uh, if you click on this little thing for extensions, this little puzzle piece looking thing, just search for ESLint. That would be ECMAScript Lint. And that's a very good linter for JavaScript. Go ahead and install it. After you install it, there'll be a little blue button that says reload. Go ahead and reload as well. So that way we have ESLint integrated into Visual Studio Code. And we can use it to help us catch our errors a lot more easily. And it'll catch style things as well, as well as just things that we probably didn't mean to do, but that aren't technically errors. And then, um, ordinarily, you'd have to put a file called .eslintconfig in your project to work, to get this to work. Um, but Create React App comes with one. And Visual Studio Code used to just pick that up automatically. It doesn't anymore, so we have to make a tiny little configuration change. So let's open up our package.json file. And we need to add to it. Anybody know what JSON stands for? It stands for JSON. Yeah, no. What's it stand for? JavaScript object notation which is what it looks like, right? looks like a JavaScript object. But it's not. There are some rules for JSON that we don't have in JavaScript. For example, you can't leave the quotes out on the keys. And in fact, you must use double quotes. You must use double quoted keys in JSON. And you can't do things like leave a trailing comma. That's illegal. Which means there's no trailing comma there now. And we're about to add something. So let's go ahead and put that comma in there and go to the next line after scripts. So put a comma after scripts, go to the next line. And then we need to add a little something. So double quotes, ESLint, all lowercase, capital C config. So camel cased ESLint config, colon. And that's going to point to an object. Then double quoted extends colon another string react dash app. And remember, we can't go ahead and add the uh, comma on the next line as much as we want to because that's illegal in JSON. So here's what we changed ESLint config extends react app. You should have installed. Uh, ESLint as part of your setup instructions. If you did not, you can install it with yarn global add ESLint. Or if that doesn't work for you, npm install dash g ESLint. One or the other ought to work. Could be that the yarn command works fine, but it still doesn't find it because it's not putting global stuff in the right place. Um, I think you can probably type ESLint. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so you can type ESLint and see if it gives you a bunch of uh, instructions on how to use it. Ah, shucks. There you go. Now, to see if it works in here, let's open up app.js. I'm just going to create a variable out here, const i equals 0, whatever. And immediately I see a little green squiggle. And it says ESLint. i is assigned a value but never used. Then in parentheses it says no unused vars, because no unused vars is the ESLint configuration rule that we're violating. So if we ever 
create a variable and don't end up using it, it's going to warn us. It's a green squiggle, not a red squiggle. It's a warning, not an error. But it does warn us because usually that means you forgot to use this thing or you're importing something that you never ended up using and you can probably take the import out. So you just find dead code that way sometimes. But it'll help us find our actual errors a lot sooner too. So if that's working, I'll go ahead and uh, commit that. Configure ESLint.